Okay, an update for the Easy Two Tips and Tricks giveaway. Several things I is on my first live stream the other day, um, I had watched <laughs> uh, Papa Texas announcement for Bill Gotti's giveaway. I was kind of busy. I didn't stop to read, you know, the heading, you know, the <laughs> of what is his giveaway. And so I came on my channel. I told Papa Texas, I left him a comment saying, hey, I'm going to give you a shout out, you know, and make it known that you're give, doing this giveaway. And uh, so I came on to my live stream, you know, and thanks for being there, whoever just dropped in. And uh, so I'm saying how that Papa Texas He's doing a giveaway, and he's really got some cool stuff. I mean, he has given away some really nice things. And <laughs> to, my <laughs> uh, to my embarrassment, um, it's all good. It's not Papa Texas. Papa Texas is doing a VR for Bill Gotti. You don't even have to be a YouTuber. And Bill Gotti is doing this huge giveaway. He's doing knives, and he's doing shirts, and he's doing custom catfish bait. I mean, he's got quite a few really nice items, probably like, I don't know, seven, eight, ten. I can't tell you how many. But he's also saying, even if you're not a YouTuber, if you, Donna Shaw, hi, thanks for being here. You had a very nice live stream, and God's really using you. More than you know, I'm sure. It's probably better that way anyway, if we don't really know. But just just for what that's worth. Oh, the Egyptian Game Greek. Thanks for being here. I'll definitely be sure to check your channel out after this live stream. For sure. And anyone else that shows up. So, okay. So here I am, you know, telling how that Papa Texas, you know, he's doing this really big giveaway, and it's not, it's not Papa Texas at all. He's just doing the VR. He's help, you know, he's doing this um, announcement, and for not just an announcement. Go to Papa Texas channel and look at his video on the giveaway, Bill Gotti's giveaway. And all the instructions and the items are given away are there. Um, it's very nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. That message a lot to me. I am new to this. Well, you're, you're doing a great job. Just keep doing what you're doing. And if people come on your channel and they don't understand, that's not your problem. You know, your heart's right. And that's obvious. And if, if someone can't see that, they're just blind. Uh, Donna Shaw, and that's who I'm talking to at the moment. They can't see your heart and how genuine and, and honest and straightforward it is. They're just blind, Donna. You know, and you can pray for them. And if they, you know, uh, anyways, so just be encouraged. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, two of us commenting. That means so much to me. Two to thirds are lukewarm. Well, I'll, I'll touch base with the with those comments here, but then let me finish what I'm doing. I'll speak about this after I get through mentioning about the giveaway. Okay, I will definitely get back to this conversation about what you just both of you have just mentioned. All right. So on this giveaway. You know, I'm talking how that Papa Texas is doing this giveaway, and it's Bill Gotti. So, like I was saying, go to Bill, go to Bill Gotti's channel, go to Papa Texas channel. His videos there, and um, he's got some really nice items. He's and Bill Gotti's doing two big giveaways. I'm doing two giveaways, and I'm giving away. Let me get the lighting right here. Ah, the lighting's not right. Ah, 
the lighting isn't right. Now, here we go. I'm giving away two of these 16 foot Fat Max tape measures, okay? Now, the Fat Max will extend out like eight feet or more before the tape gives way and, and, and will fold. They're top notch high end tapes, and I'm giving away two of them. Now, when I first had my, did the video on this, okay? Um, I'll answer this, this com the comments here in a minute. But when I first did my giveaway, I'm, I'm saying, you know, I want you the person that whoever applies for the giveaway, go out, do a good deed for somebody for a Thanksgiving, you know, at a volunteer at a shelter, at a church, um, mission, um, pull weeds, shovel snow, go visit an elderly neighbor, just go do something for somebody and videotape it. Now, I know for myself, when I volunteer and I do things, I cannot videotape myself doing that. There's no way. But so I say that to say I understand for the people that are going kin. I, I, I volunteer and I give do free haircuts and I and I do this and I've done that and I and so my concern is the reason I say videotape it is one it should hopefully it encourages others to volunteer. And two, not everybody's honest, unfortunately. And so for that reason, I need, I want proof that they're, everybody's doing what they say they're doing. As, and, and I look at it as it's twofold. One tells me that, that you're actually doing it. That keeps you honest. And two, it encourages others when they see that you're out there and you're really doing this. And so I see it as twofold, twofold, you know, there's two purposes. And Nathan likes drums. How you doing, bro? And so that's where I'm coming from. So if you're struggling with volunteering for the giveaway, I'm not volunteering, videotaping yourself, I understand. But that keeps everybody honest. And the other side of that, the flip side of that is, is it, it's encouraging, it's encouragement to other people that may want to go volunteer and struggle doing it. And it can be encouragement to them to do it. And so that's really what it's all about. Now that's at the end of the month. So you have about two weeks, week and a half or so. You know, like I say, go go mow someone's lawn, go pull some weeds, uh, go visit some elderly people at the convalescent home, uh, volunteer for Thanksgiving at a church or a mission or somewhere. They're always looking for people, you know, just go and tell them you'd like to volunteer and you're willing to do whatever they want, you know, wash dishes, whatever it is, and they'll put you to work and you can volunteer and you can do that. Um, so so anyways, that's what this update's about. You know, because I've had a few people mention, well, can I, I do this? You know, I do volunteer. We have given, you know, to fire department that's feeding the homeless or feeding the poor in the community or, you know, I'm I'm a part of Kiwanis or Kiwanis, however you pronounce that. And, you know, So this is why I'm saying what I'm saying about I understand you don't want to videotape it. It's not you don't want to promote yourself because 
I volunteer and I certainly don't videotape it. Uh, and it's before you and God, you know, and I understand that. But to keep everybody honest, those that may say, oh, I this is what I did, and you know, is why. So I think, you know, everyone understands that. And so there, there, there may be some exceptions to this rule I'm putting up at my discretion. But in general, uh, I want to see videos. Now, what I'm thinking about doing is playing that video and showing that those the people that win putting their video on you on my channel or showing it from another another device and showing that you did what you said you did and what it was that you did. I think that would be fun and encouraging all at the same time. So that's my purpose <clears throat> and that's the reason for wanting everyone to go do something. I don't care if it's in your neighbor's yard. Your neighbors if it's snowing where you're at and your neighbors needs their driveway shoveled off and they're maybe their older couple go shovel their driveway for them be a blessing you know if if there's no snow and they got weeds tell them you know what's going on and and you'd like to pull their weeds and and and, and help them out so you can enter this giveaway pay it forward you know pay it forward and I'm really wanting it to be about encouraging others, you know, just to continue paying it forward. And uh, these are very nice tape measures. I've got one hand here. And these tape measures work in reverse. Okay. Nothing, there's no lock on this tape measure. Okay. It's just held. It works in reverse. And I push this button over here. There's a button I push and it will retract. Okay. And these tape measures are extra wide. They're wider than the standard um, type of tape measure. And if you will, if you go watch my my other video on the giveaway, my first video, I demonstrate the measuring tape and how it works. So you can hook it overhead and do a measurement for overhead. Um, and so anyway, so you might want to check that out. But that's really the bottom line to this live stream is wanting to clear that up, wanting people to know that I understand about not wanting to videotape yourself and doing something in the community or for your neighbor. Because, but... Like I say, I believe it's, it would be encouragement for other people. Um, you know, to do that. And then I know that you've done what you said you've done. And it's a win, win, win for everybody. You win, your neighbor wins, or whoever you go volunteer for wins. You, you, you're videotaping it. People see that. They see it's real. They see you're doing what you said you, you did. And it's just a win-win. You know, it, it's an encouragement. And uh, I see it being a good thing. I, I really like that. Now, if anybody wants to take part of this video or part of my other video and uh, put it on your channel to promote it, feel free. Um, I'm giving anyone permission on YouTube, I'm giving everyone permission. If those that may be interested in doing that, um, or there's a way to copy a link and then post it on your channel. I haven't learned how to do that yet, um, but feel free to do that as well. However, um, for those that want to do that. Now, it's just until the end of the month. I would like to get these gifts out, these measuring. I've got two measuring tapes, two drawings. I'm going to put in the, I'm going to put your names in a bag, you know, shake the bag or in the hat and uh, pick two names. And that's how I'm going to do it. But it's at the end of the month. Okay. That way, by before Christmas or by Christmas, you'll be able to get this gift. And if it's either it's for yourself or you know somebody that, 
could really use a measuring tape. You could give it away as a Christmas gift. Um, so however it works, you know, if it blesses you and you need a tape measure and you win, then that, 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 that's cool. That's, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Or, you know, if you know somebody, you know, and it's a gift that you're giving away, however it works, Merry Christmas, you know, everybody wins. And that, that's what this giveaway is about. It's about, you know, this time of year for so many people, they struggle. It's a hard time. They max out credit cards. They don't have, or they don't have credit cards. And it's just hard to, to, to give a gift. You know, it's hard to, but you can do something for somebody. That's a gift. I remember as a kid, my grandmother, I was wanting, to, I was wanting something to do something for my mom. I was probably five or six years old. And my grandmother, and I was heartbroken. And my grandmother says, I know what we'll do. And we went down to the material store where they sold material. And we got some cloth. And then she bought a little half dome. Um, oh, it was a hard uh, foam-like. And we covered it. And she put it on a lid. And it became a pin cushion my mom sewed. And inside was was little canister, and the lid went on this little canister. And my mom could put her needles and her pins for her sewing in in the little canister. And then the, the top of the lid had this. It was a, become a pin cushion, you know, or this uh, styrofoam or whatever it was was there on top. It covered with with cloth. It made my day to be able to give my mom something at five six years old for Christmas. We made it. That's my point. We made it. it it didn't take much money, and you know nowadays it's just all kinds of stuff you can do if you just think about it. So you know, I'm just saying. So to go out and do a, to pay it forward, do a good deed for somebody, videotape it, put put your link on in this comment or in the comments on my on my first announcement for the giveaway. Put the link to the video there. And uh, the winners, I'll, I will show what they've done. And um, anyone else that wants, wants their video viewed, you know? And I'll do that for the winners. I, I think that would make it fun and interesting and encouraging. And not just Christmas time. Any time of the year is a good time to volunteer. Any time of the year is a good time to volunteer. You know, and uh, team works make the dreams work is what a young man said the other day on uh, the turkey giveaway of preparation um, that I have up on my channel as well. There's a, a thrift store that gets donations and there's a, a ICR employment service that brings them 300 turkeys every Thanksgiving and they have this great big all right the Egyptian Greek gamer gamer Greek I'll catch up with you uh, and so they, they give out 300 turkeys every Thanksgiving along with the pie and canned goods you know and yams and the basics, cranberry sauce, you know, and dressing. And uh, to be able to go there and videotape that and help them out with, with that unloading was a blessing. You know, I, I got so much out of that. Um, to be able to be a part of that was just blessed me. It was like, wow, this is what a opportunity here, you know. Uh, to be able to be a part of that little that that giveaway that they're doing, um, so that's why I say keeps everyone honest, and it's encouraging to others to pay it forward. And uh, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving, like I said, for some people is just kind of hard for people to deal with, and um, it just makes it a little smoother, makes it a little nicer. It puts a smile on, on someone's face. 
You know, you never know what somebody's going through. You look at them, they look fine. You don't know they just lost a loved one. You don't know they just lost their husband or divorced or whatever may be going on in their life. We, you just don't know. We cover it up so well. And so when you give, you don't know. You really don't know how it's touching or affecting that person or the people. And the difference that it may be making for them. You just don't know. And that's why I say any time of the year is a good time to help someone out, you know, to volunteer, whatever it is, you know, you just don't know. Now I'll tell you my story on these measuring tapes. I have a video on my channel. I guess I should put it in my link. But about a year ago, roughly, I had a Stanley Fat Max 16-foot measuring tape. It was a silver body tape. And I've, I've been buying them since they come out. They're top-notch measuring tapes, the Stanley Fat Max. And anyway, so I took it and I bent the tape backwards. And it cracked, it ripped and broke and ripped. And I'm going, really? These are top notch. I've never had a tape measure do this to me. RG, thanks for being here, RG. Uh, tonight, how is every, everyone doing tonight? Um, so anyways, so I had this measuring tape. It cracked and I'm thinking, I spent a couple days going, should I... Maybe I should just call Stanley. They are, they are a real reputable company, and they've been around forever. I'm going to see if, if they have some type of a warranty on this measuring tape. So I call Stanley. I get a hold of their uh, customer service rep, and I say, do you guys have any kind of a warranty on these tape measures? And he says, yeah, we do. I said, okay, great. I said, I've had several. I've never had this happen. These are top-notch measuring tapes. And I can't believe this broke. And the guy says, yeah, just take it and return it to the dealer, you know, to a store that, that sells our product. And uh, that, that's all. I said, okay, great. So it went so smooth and so easy. I'm thinking, I need to make this known. So I tell the guy on the phone before before our conversation ends, I tell him, I have a YouTube channel and I'm going to do a video talking about how well you guys stand behind your product because most companies today do everything they can to get out of the warranty. You know, there are all these reasons why they won't warranty it once you need the warranty. You know, they've got rules. Oh, we won't warranty it because you did this or because you did that or whatever. And I'm going, you are you guys are honoring your warranty. No questions asked. Uh, I'm going to do a video for you guys. So the video, the, the I did a video. The guy asked me what my channel name was. I did a video. And... About four days later, there's this box about a foot, about 12 inches by 12 inches in diameter, in, in square. And I pick it up because it's out at my fence delivered by UPS. And it's heavy. And I'm thinking, what did they do? Did they throw a 30-foot Fat Max Stanley measuring tape in here? Because it was a whole lot heavier than what it should have been. So I have my wife videotape the, this big reveal and I open the box and it's on camera and I take the paper off the top of it. And my eyes were big as saucers. I'm going, I don't believe this. And my wife's standing there going, what? I'm like going, telling her, come here. <laughs> and she comes over and she looks in that box there was six measuring tapes. 
six of these 25 foot measure 20 i'm sorry 16 foot measuring tapes six of them i'm going all i need is one and a backup that's all i really need and so i said right there on the spot i'm going i'll give two of these away right now you just so anybody just make a comment in the comments and let me know and i will give you a tape measure i had no takers one guy heard about me. Someone else had did a little blip talking about it. And I get, this guy says, yeah, I'd love to get, have a tape measure. I could really use one. So, you know, I gave one away. And that was great. Then I gave one to another guy that I knew. But point being is, you know, what am I going to do with six measuring tapes? Four measuring tapes. And uh, it was like Christmas is coming. It's time to, to give them away. And so that's what I'm doing. You know, I was blessed with these six measuring tapes. Um, Stanley Fat Max did a top-notch job with honoring their warranty. Then they send me six of them. And uh, I, I still have mine. It's still running, going strong. And I have one spare, and that's all I need. And I got, so I'm giving these two away. And that that's my story. And, uh, you know, it's a blessing to me. And so it's like, be able to give these away and, and it be something that somebody else can use and put to use. That's great. You know, that, that, that's, that's my day. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to, more people that that you know that do this, the better. And so that's why I'm saying for those that may be interested in putting my link and posting this link on their channel, um, recording this this video and putting it up on their channel or my other video on the giveaway on their channel. If they want to do that, then great. Um, however, it works. And so, it, it again, it just makes my day to know that, you know, it's going to a good, that these two tapes are going to a good home. And that's the bottom line. You know, united we stand, united we're making it happen here on YouTube. And um, it's good stuff. You know, it's, it is the season, you know. But like I say, any time of year is a good time to volunteer or to help someone out. America's great. Let's do those things that makes America great. You know, got to get back to basics. Got to get back to basics, you know. Keep doing the things that makes America great. We've kind of backslidden for lack of a better word, you know. We've kind of gone, we're backing up a bit and we need to uh, get back on track. And um, this is one of the one of just one of many, many things that makes America great, you know, united, caring about our neighbor as ourselves, you know, treating one another the way we would like to be treated and uh, pay it forward. You know, it's what it's all about. It makes a difference. And so. Yeah, and if those of you that are still here, um, if you don't know one another in the chat, you know, get to know one another. Um, my Car Ranger, thanks for being here, bro. And um, RG and, oh, God, God's Convict. Hey, bro. Um, if you don't know Donna Shaw, you guys need to go go to join, well, Donna Shaw, RG Homestead, you know, um, go check out their channels for sure, for sure. Um, fishing every day. I don't know if you're still here, but thank you. No. Uh, who else dropped in here? All right, I'm going to get to this questions that were what we were discussing here in the beginning of this live stream. But it looks like just about everybody's stepped out, which is okay. But I was going to address 
some converse, some thoughts. Um, she's completely out of praise God, God's convict. Your sister is completely out of pain. She's walking again. Woohoo! Praise God. Amen. Yay, yay, and amen, and amen. Amen. God's convict has had a sister that hasn't walked for years or never walked. I forget exactly. And we prayed for her the other night before surgery. And he wasn't sure how that surgery was going to go. He was very, very concerned about that. And this is such a great testimony, God's convict. She's walking again, brother. The surgery was a major victory. Rejoicing with you. Rejoicing with you. That puts joy in my heart. Joy in my heart. Good stuff. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. Because I know you personally... Needed to see God move in your sister's life. And you really needed to see that. And see, God says he'll increase our faith and help our unbelief. We just have to ask. And God, God's on the throne. And I truly rejoice with you. So God answered prayer. Major surgery. You need to do a video talking about that. And giving the details on this, uh, on your sister. And how she didn't walk and couldn't walk. And how the surgery God used God used this surgery to and use the doctors <laughs> and directed and guided the doctors in this surgery and brought forth this healing. This um, she's walking. Mike Har, Ranger on here. He's the guy I was 92308. Mike was the guy that had an accident. They pronounced him dead after the accident. And then they told him when he when he said, "Hey, I'm not dead." Hey, guys, um, and then they told him he'd never walk again. And Mike's walking. Mike's you never know he had a problem. And it's just amazing. A uh, Mike, you would really like Donna Shaw's channel. And God's convict, I know you'd really like Donna Shaw's channel. I can't speak for anyone else. Um, but you'd really like her channel. She prays and sings. and uh, Good channel. You guys would like her channel. Um, RG may like her channel, too. If RG's still here. RG Homestead. Um. Surgery was a major victory, bro. Just thank you for your prayers, everyone. God is, God, listen, God heard. God heard the cries of a prayer. Hallelujah. Good stuff, brother. What a testimony. Um, God's convict, are you still here? Uh, for that severe, sir, thanks, you and... Have a great day. 
Well, RG, it looks, sounds like you're on your way out. You're welcome, RG. RG Homestead. Looks like you got some pretty nice firewood um, for this winter. That was a nice looking tree you were able to cut down. And uh, this this lamp, yes, I made this lamp. That's This is another lamp I've made, RG, if you're still here. That's another lamp, up close and personal. All right, RG, so if you haven't left yet, I just thought I'd show you that lamp. Yeah, I made that. Um, that's something you could do as well. It's not that, it's pretty simple. Just looking at it, I'm sure you can figure out how to do it. Um, I've sold several of these lamps for about $125. $125. I sold a couple of those lamps for that price. Now, this was my first original one. It has the rope on the side there. Okay. That was my very first one, and I've got another one that matches that. Well, basically matches it. Um, if you're still here. All right. Good. So I'll show you. I think this might be something you might like to do, RG. That's my base. The trick, the trick to that is getting a drill bit all the way down through the center. That's the trick. This was my first one, and uh, I improvised on this one. And uh, if you're interested, hit me up, and I'll tell you how I did it. I don't have any videos of this. I haven't shared my secrets with this. Um, it's something I just had to figure out myself after seeing one. I saw one on a on a on, on a movie. It was it was a, just a prop in a movie. I saw one something like that, and I went, I can make one of those. Yeah, and that's a high gloss. That's a high gloss finish I put on this. And then my wife dressed it up with these little guys right here. That's a Hobby Lobby little critter guy, little critters. Um, so anyway, if you want to know more about what I, how I did that, hit me up. I'll, I'll let you know how I made it. But like I said, I happened to see that in a something like that as a prop in a movie. And I went, wait a minute. My wife said, look at this. And it didn't really show it. It kind of partially showed it, but not very well. And that's all I needed. I just needed... I saw that and I, and it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't a clear picture like I just showed you. It was just like a partial picture, you know, something about like this, you know, enough to know it was a log. And I went, I can do that. And uh, that was my first one. That, that's it right there. So anyways, if you want to know how to do it and hit me up, I'll let you know. I'll tell you. It's simple. There's not much to it, really. The battle is getting down through the center, <laughs> but it's not that bad. It's really not. So, and you may already know what to do. You may already have it figured out in your head what to do, but if not, I'll tell you. All right. So who's all here? I know RG Homestead's here. I know, I believe Mike, Mike Har Ranger's still here. And is it God's convict that's here or Donna Shaw? Um, okay, thank you, Mike, for letting me know. Who else is here? I'm not sure who else is here. If you don't comment, I, then I have no clue. Um, unless you're just unable to comment from your device that you're that you're watching from and so if you're unable to watch from your device i mean comment from your device and that makes sense now now i understand why some people don't make comments you can't make any comments <laughs> so that would have to be frustrating not to be able to comment but watching and learning um 
if you can find someone, have some, know somebody with a device where you can comment or say, hey, I'm doing a live, you know, I want to do your, get into the giveaway, you know, do, a, do, do volunteer, do something for somebody, videotape it and uh, send me the link or the video of it somehow. And uh, I'll put you in for the end of the month. So I really hope a lot of people join, a lot of people jump on this and uh, have a lot of people doing this. That would be so great. That's what I'm, that's my hopes here. And like I say, neighbors got snow, shovel their driveway, you know, help them out. They got weeds, pull their weeds, you know, wash their windows. I mean, I don't care. Do something. Go to the convalescent home and go visit the elderly. You know, something. I don't care. If you have a neighbor and they don't, you know, go visit them. I mean, we are, okay, I was taking something. I was talking. We're okay. I was talking some things. Yeah, I guess there's a typo there somewhere. I'm not quite following that thought. What kind of wood did I use? This is pine. That That is, this is pine. I just took the bark off of it. When I took the bark off of it, these colors um, was, what was, was what the bark left behind, and I didn't sand it. Well, I put the very light, light sand with like 320, but I didn't want to sand off the coloring. So I left the coloring there, and I sprayed over it with polyurethane. That's what I did. I washed. First thing I did is I pulled the bark off. Sorry, I missed that when I was off for a moment. Okay, I'll show you again, RG. All I did is I, I pulled the bark off, and I washed them down with water. Okay. I washed them. I washed it down with the water hose. Got all the loose debris and whatnot off of it. Let it dry. Three twenty sandpaper, lightly sanded, very lightly, because I didn't want to remove the colors. And uh, polyurethane it, and uh, drilled down through the center. That one, that one, uh, is not like the rest of them. This one, this one's got that rope on the side. Going down to the base. But that was my first one. And uh, I have a pair of them. But the others I drilled down through the center of it. And uh, like I said, if you need to know, you know, let me know and I'll let you know how I did that. Uh, I need to do a video on it, I guess, on my channel. But I got this house repairs to do that's just taking the priority and then I have that stump chair that I've started that's still sitting and incomplete although it's taking shape it's just incomplete and that's a custom stump chair okay that looks that looks cool love it and it's not that hard to make with the right tool. No, it's not. It's really not. Sounds like you could probably put one together by your, without even asking me anything. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure you, I'm, sounds like you know exactly what to do. But, you know, getting some clarity on it, you know, I'm telling you. Like I said, I've sold, the, I've sold two of those about 125 bucks a piece so that was definitely worth my time far as you know making a little money on your time and creativity uh, up in big bear this lamp would probably go for like 200 bucks up there in the up there in the on the mountain my car Flavor by Hindus flavor. I'm not understanding. Hey, Hindus flavor, how you doing? Thanks for being here. 
Here's a treat. I was just talking about this lamp. Isn't that cool? I haven't made any videos showing you how to make them, but kind of cool. Hello, Mike. Good, thanks, Mike says. All right. They do so. Yeah, they sell. They sell. Um, I had a guy buy two of them. Now, I custom made them for him. He wanted them shorter. And I had like a 18-inch log that I cut. And then I cut them because he wanted them short like for nightstands, a nightstand light. So this one's like about 20 inches long, at maybe 24 inches high. The ones I made for the for the for his nightstands in his bedroom were, I believe, like about a foot tall. They were real short, and that was without uh, the shade, without the lampshade. I told him you have to buy the lampshade. Get your own, you know, be able to get your own. That way you can get just the right ones and all of that. But uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. You know, I. I'm just at the moment I got this work around here. I got to get done so we can get this house up for sale. Uh, we can get out of, you know, leave, get out of California. I guess I'm country at heart, you know, raised in the, raised in California. <laughs> um, Cause I don't like it here. You know, I like it where I got some freedom to fish and hunt if you want to and, you know, grow, grow some veggies and have some animals and, you know. Guys, please friend me. We make friends. That's what it's about, making friends, getting to know one another and watching one another's videos. Now, when you watch, when you, be, when you friend someone... Uh, you want to make sure the in this flavor. You want to make sure that you watch a whole video, not just thirty seconds of it. YouTube is changing things, <laughs> and they are disconnecting. I have a friend that's joined my community and he watched a few videos, but he doesn't comment, and. He, YouTube unfriended him. He was unsubscribed. And he's, this has happened twice, but he's not commenting. He's not giving any thumbs up. And YouTube's disconnecting him. Um, so you got to give a thumbs up. You got to comment. You got to watch a whole video. And don't forget, do not hit the like button until after 60 seconds. YouTube doesn't recognize that thumbs up or the like tell you've watched that person's video for one minute, 60 seconds after 60 seconds, whether it's two minutes, three minutes, you know, 60 seconds and 15 minutes, 15 seconds. I mean, not minutes, 15 seconds, a minute, 15 seconds. You can hit that like button and then YouTube acknowledges the like. Okay. Cause they're really changing things. All right. RG says, uh, I made on one out of cactus, out of cactus, really, 30 years ago. And my daughter has it now. That's cool. I bet that looks really sharp and probably still looks nice. What part of the country are you looking to go? Back in the south. Back in the south. I don't know whether it's going to be Georgia or Alabama or Mississippi or I'm not sure. We're just kind of looking and looking for the right price, you know. Um, we'll get a few bucks out of this one and, uh, you know, go out there. We can buy one, put a little money in the bank, maybe open a little business, you know, kind of thing. Uh, that's the plan. But I got to get this 
I got all this work in front of me to do yet. <sighs> I'm working on my wife's car for the last couple days doing that radiator. I did a video today on a back flush on the radiator and the motor. Even when you are comment and thumbs up YouTube has my support for that channel yeah but like i was saying this friend of mine watches video he'll watch my videos but he doesn't comment and he doesn't hit the thumbs up and he gets unsubscribed he's got he's been unsubscribed like two or three times and uh i'll jump on his phone real quick you know and i'll look at and i'll check my channel and i'm like really i'm you're unsubscribed but he's not commenting. He's not giving a thumbs up. He's just watching the video after he subscribed. <laughs> uh, we were watching a couple of my videos off of his off of his phone the other day, and shoot, a couple of days later he was unsubscribed. But there's he wasn't commenting. He wasn't giving any thumbs ups. And so YouTube's going, "You're not a real supporter. You're just a temporary." So, you know, here checking it out. And so they unsubscribe him. Um, I know I've been unsubscribed from some people after commenting, after making comments, after commenting to them, then commenting, commenting back to me and having this interaction. I've there's several guys that's not, I, they're gone. And uh, it's like, I got to go back to search, put their name in reconnect and i've had to do that several times and i'm commenting watching videos giving the thumbs up and it's still happening i was looking at my analytics just uh the other night two nights ago and it says i've lost a hundred people and i don't know i don't know what the time frame was i didn't notice but it had told me that i lost a hundred people from my YouTube channel. Um, come to Arizona and enjoy the weather. My wife is from Arizona. My wife grew up in Flagstaff, nicest part of Arizona. <laughs> well, one of the nicest parts. We went camping um, in Arizona at the Rim. Rim, I think Rim, I don't know if it's the Rim of the World, but it's they call it the Rim. If you are in Winslow, Arizona here, and you travel to the south, I believe it would be, from Winslow, and about two hours, hour and a half down the road, you're up in the mountains in a place called the Rim. They've got a great big man-made lake. We camped up there for the weekend. There was eagles diving into the lake, snatching trout out of it. It was so awesome. All I could take was pictures. I didn't have my YouTube channel at the time. Knew nothing about it, really. I mean, not really. Um, anyways, we took some pictures. But to be able to videotape that would have been really nice. But uh, the rim. But uh, nice place to camp. I don't know how far you are from Winslow, but it's like another hour and a half, I believe, going south from Winslow. But uh, the Rim, great place to camp. Like I said, they got this great big man-made lake. They have a little store up there, you know, where you can buy fishing supplies and food and whatnot and all kinds of campgrounds and uh, awesome scenery. Same here, I agree. Uh, YouTube is doing something to channels for reasons I can understand. Yeah, um, control, <laughs> you know, um, they're definitely learning about human nature big time. There's a movie out, uh, but it's, it's it's been out for quite a while nowadays, if you, but and I forget the name of it, but it's kind of represents YouTube <laughs> and uh, control and uh, governing the people kind of thing. The movie's kind of like 
hair raising in a sense um in a little private community you know they had set up uh they knew everything they everybody was doing and uh very interesting this movie brought out some really good points and i believe it represented youtube i really do and that's been i don't know how many months ago now three four months back maybe i don't remember the name unfortunately it's beautiful in that area i'm not too far from Williams, Arizona. Okay. Yeah, and I'm not sure how far Williams is from the rim, what they call the rim up there on the hill and the mountain. Um, my wife would know. Like I said, she grew up in Flagstaff, one of the nicer places. Has family up there. They were like one of the second, they were like the second family to be in Flagstaff back in what the 50s or the 40s or something they're actually in their museum you know as part of the history of that town that's kind of cool but uh i guess that's too much information on youtube huh <laughs> whoops <laughs> but uh <laughs> anyways <laughs> um yeah so flagstaff's really nice the rim's really really nice um it's hot here, you know, but I I like that the seasons, you know, here in the, where I live, you don't, you get summer and winter. What, what is spring and fall? It's just a little bit cooler, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, so I got to get this house finished. So I said all that to say, you know, showing my projects, teaching people how to do it. Um, like my custom stump chair, it's a, it's, I'm in the about halfway done, maybe a little bit more. It's about 150 miles from you. Uh, if you're talking about the rim, uh, that's about a three hour and eh, two and a half hour drive, depending on your speed, I guess. I think there's speed limit out there, 75, I believe, if I remember right. Uh, so yeah, it's like a two and a half hour drive. That's not too bad. Um, so, yeah, nice place. We're, we're, we've been wanting to go back, actually, you know. Just got too much going on here. But, uh, shoot. Oh, on my channel, I showed this a while back. I... Uh, Help somebody out, gave them change for a hundred dollar bill. Now it's been washed by accident, but <laughs> I was helping somebody out at late at night, and you can see how faded this is. And they needed change because the gas station wasn't going to give them change. And I'm in a big hurry, and I've had a hundred dollar bill or fifty dollar bill. I w wasn't able to break it. It was at it, a station or somewhere and so I go to the ATM I pull out a hundred bucks hundred you know five twenties I give it to him I kind of quickly look at the hundred dollar bill threw it in my pocket a few days later I go down to the auto parts store to get something and I give the guy the hundred dollar bill and he's like checking it looking at it going this isn't real I'm like what he's going this isn't this is counterfeit I'm like no no. He says, yes, it's counterfeit. I'm going, I'm going, wait a minute. Anyways, we went to a store next door and they ran it through their machine. They're going, yep, that's definitely counterfeit. The machine's kicking it through, you know, and kicking it through. And uh, <laughs> so what's the moral of the story? Somebody has a hundred dollar bill. If you feel like being the good Samaritan, buy him a cup of coffee. Don't give them change unless you know for a fact that's a $100 bill, especially the older ones. That's the older style $100 bill. And uh, so if someone's got an older $100 bill and they're looking for change, you need to double, triple check before you give them $100 and, and change for it. Or just be the good Samaritan and buy them a cup of coffee, you know? hamburger or something uh, 
Does that cost me a hundred bucks? That's a hundred dollar lesson right there. But I thought about burning it just for fun, you know, get, get some views <laughs> just for the fun, just for fun. Cause it's phony. You know, the back of it's all faded out. I don't know about the lighting, which after it was washed in my pants, it's all faded, you know, but it looked real at a glance with, with an untrained eye. I, I thought it was real. You know, I was then a hurry. I looked at it real quick. Went okay, gave him his money, and uh, whoops, that was a big mistake. That was a hundred dollar mistake right there. That was a chunk of dough out of my pocket. Well, I was a good Samaritan without even knowing it that day. Not funny. <laughs> Not funny. That was a costly experience. That's the old scam, everyone on the market. Yeah, you know, but I don't think that way. I just don't think like that. You know, I mean, I'm aware. I'm not stupid. I'm aware of people, the games people play. But, you know, the guy didn't look homeless. He didn't look like he was down and out was the big thing, you know. And uh, I just took a quick glance at this $100 bill front and back and went, hmm, okay. But that's a, that was a... That was a learning lesson, let me tell you. I'd rather buy the guy a Coke and a hamburger than uh, lose 100 bucks. That's for sure. But uh, anyway, just word to the wise, it's an older $100 bill. Um, you know, I wouldn't go there. Not unless there's a way to verify for sure that it is. I guess if the, the machine don't take it, <laughs> But anyway, all right, I just thought I'd throw that out there. As a cop, I, I took a look at the reports for that one. Oh, I bet you did. Yeah, I bet there's lots of them. I didn't make a report. I didn't make any reports. Uh, I went to my bank and verified, and they're going, yeah, I don't know. That's... And I happened to know the girl, the person, the person. <laughs> I happen to know the person really well um, at my bank. And they said, look, I'm supposed to take that, but I know you, no worries. And here's proof. And now it's been washed. Uh, it's all faded out. It's obvious it's not real. But um, anyways, I mentioned that, oh, man, back when it first happened, and I found out about it. So... Be wise, those that are hearing this part of this portion of the video, it's an older $100 bill. Leave it alone for sure. RG confirms that <laughs> uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, well, RG, have you done any videos lately? I saw your, cheats, your tree cutting video. And I, I commented. I don't know if you'd commented back. Um, and then I'd some sometimes you never see the comments. They don't even make it into your email. Um, some vid. I don't know why some comments make it to the email and some of them don't. Most don't for good reason. And you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I definitely know. But, um, yeah, I don't know why um, some of the comments never make it into your email and notifications. Um, sometimes I got to go back to that person's channel, go back to that video, look into the comments where I made my comment to see if that person responded to my comment. And most of the time they've responded, I've never seen it. Never was aware that they even commented. Um, but there's their comment, big as life. Tomorrow, Irish Day and, and Scrap Day. May God bless me with my amen. May the Lord bless you with your recycling mic. Yes. Yes. Working hard. He's learning about recycling and how to recycle and how to make 
money on recycling and not allowing and catching and being aware of what's really going on and the recycling yards not cheating him because I know they cheat you every chance they get, unfortunately. And I guess they do that because people cheat when they bring their stuff in. So they have this attitude that they don't care and they're going to cheat you every, every time they get a chance, unfortunately. Um, but Mike's not doing well. He is doing anyways. Mike, Mike's going to get, he's going to start melting his, his metal and, uh, get a little bit more for it that way and, um, max maximize his dollar on his work. And, um, uh, that'd be a good video. You know, you, you get your, uh, forge going. And uh, do a video on that, melting the metal once you once you get one built and learn how to do all that stuff. That'd be cool. Be a good little video. And uh, showing that process. I've been watching some videos on making forges and in, in the past, and they're really interesting. And then, but they're making a lot of people are taking and they've got molds. You know, they're pouring the metal into and they're making things with it. Uh, and that's kind of cool too. That's a nice little art for sure. Um, oh, Thursday nights, I'm going to be going live at 7.30 here, California time. Not, but I have some coming up out soon. It's my download gives me a problem and I have to find better internet service for better downloads uh, post yes yes RV RV RG uh, homestead I use net satellite and I tried them out here I was really had high hopes and they sold me you know a bunch of swamp bottom property you know, in the desert. <laughs> um, and I got their internet service. I couldn't, when I, I could go live, it would lag. And uh, I tried to bring somebody on a live stream and it killed it. <laughs> and so, whew, excuse me. So I called them up and they were supposed to fix it and I called them up again and they were supposed to have fixed it and I called them up again. So I just finally told them, look, everybody's lying to me from this from the salesman to everybody I spoke with on the phone because they want to lock you into a two-year contract. And I'm going, your service is not what I was told it was. Everybody I spoke with on the phone has lied to me and they let me out of my contract. And uh, so use net, at least not here, and uh, it's not worth it. Frontier, uh, we're going to be trying Frontier. They're supposed to be coming out tomorrow. And uh, if it does what they say it will do, I'll be good. If not, because I'm stuck on my phone. I'll, I do everything on my phone, everything. Uh, I have an app uh, for uh, your um, desktop on your on your iPhone. I mean, not iPhone on my Android, and uh, so I can get the desktop view on my Android. So I got to reduce it, of course, or enlarge it, and that gives you more access. Um, that's how I found out that I lost a hundred people on my channel was from the desktop view um, for the Android. But I do everything from my cell phone. I really look forward, hopefully, to being able to operate from my laptop because uh, I'm so limited. My, my editing, I'm limited. I have a pretty good cell phone uh, Android editor for what it is for free. It's, it's a UD, no, DU recorder, capital DU recorder in that the Google Play Store. And uh, when I edit, that's what I use. You can splice several videos together. They even have a little bit of music you can add. 
they can, uh, I can say, don't it's crap and very bad. What are you referring to there, RG? Are you talking about um, Frontier? Well, they're coming. <laughs> Unfortunate. So I'll let you know how Frontier works for me. They're telling me um, the plan that we that we are getting supposed to handle 10 devices. Um, upload speeds really good. Download speeds decent. Um, it's supposed to handle 10. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm hoping. I really do. But <sighs> seems believing at this point. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta be able to. You know, turn on the laptop and it worked like it's supposed to. Um, and hope I'm hoping, but if not, I'm you know, I'm, like I say, I do everything off my phone and have been, and it limits really limited to um, the editing I can do, the different editing tools I can download and use. Um, you know, my videos would be better if I had could use my laptop and have better editing tools. If you um, have, if you're, and you're obviously you're operating off your computer, if you um, get Wondershare Filmora, I started to download a video and it started at 5 p.m. and at 8 p.m. I was not finished. Yeah, that's ultra slow, ultra slow. That's like it's uploading at 2G or something, you know. Maybe 1G, I don't know, but that's slow. If it, but if it's uploading, then that's good. But I know it puts your computer on hold until it's finished. I do that sometimes on, on my cell phone, especially when I use the DU recorder. It's a blessing. It's free. It does everything it's supposed to do. Um, but sometimes with my internet on my phone... Um, if I splice two, three parts of a video, two different, three different videos together for one video, when I splice them, it can take me two and a half hours or three hours to, on my phone to download. And that's really frustrating. Yeah. No, it's, it is not. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Thank you. But. I'm not holding my breath. I was just telling my wife, you know, we'll see. We'll see. They, they're saying it is until you told me. I haven't heard any different. Um, I'm hoping maybe uh, they just ran some new, some new cable out here, um, not far from my home. So I'm hoping with this new line they ran, this new box they put in, at least for this area, it's going to be what they say it is. So that's what gives me a little bit of hope of, you know, of expectation. But like, you know, I, I was, I was already telling her, we'll see. And uh, so, you know, I kind of anticipate it but there, but there's no contract. And if it doesn't produce what they say it will, they're going to owe me some money. Try Verizon Internet. It's much better. That would be the next thing on my list. But then, you know, I don't want to spend 100 bucks a month for Internet. That's just crazy to me. You know, if I was making money from YouTube, which I, I'm not, you know, hopefully, you know, I'll make a little something from Amazon as an affiliate. But nothing's happened there either. But Christmas is coming. So I hope. You know, people use the link. That'd be good. Be appreciated. But I do know of uh, a friend of mine's son that's making like was or still is making about $30,000. I don't know what all he's doing. I don't know. I don't know the revenue sources. I don't know how he's set up. I know nothing about it. Uh, we had it in Lancaster. Okay. Okay. Uh, you may be, I'm, like I said, they put in a new box 
Not far from me ran some new cable. So I'm hoping. But I'll definitely let you know. I'll be tweeting out. Not tweeting, but you know, I'll I'll be I'll if it's good internet, I'll make it known. If it's bad internet, I'll make it known. You know? Like the Hughes net was a joke. It, now when the guy came out, the technician came out, he could have given me a better signal because I saw it. He had it on his device. And he's like, oh, this is good enough signal. And he tuned it down. And so the installer um, cheated me of having better internet because I could have had this great signal. And I saw him turn the, uh, oh, what's that called? The dish. He turned the dish and uh, set it so that I didn't get this great signal. Because I could have got a great signal, I guess, um, as I'm sitting here thinking about that. But he see he gets paid to come back out. I'm not paying him to come back out. Um, just maybe why he was his game, you know, with how he was working it. But anyways, I'm hoping Frontier's going to be better with this new box and new line they put in. So anyways. Hmm. I was just saying something about something. We had in Lancaster, okay. All right, you can get hot box for about thirty dollars a month and it will handle all your your needs to serve you and the family. A hot box and that hot box comes from Verizon. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? That's what I think you're saying. Because the hot box comes from Verizon. Uh, my car, please. The please fifth on Verizon Internet. Oh, plead the fifth on Verizon. You plead the fifth on Verizon? My car used to live here in uh, Victorville, uh, RG. My car is not in Victorville any longer, but he used to be here in Victorville. And he's going, Verizon isn't much better, I guess. <laughs> he's pleading the fifth. <laughs> well, you know, where I'm at, I'm in a hot, I'm in a, I'm kind of rural, you know, and it's just kind of, we haven't hardly been able to get any kind of internet going out here. I had dial up <laughs> when I first my wife and I first got together, dial up. That means I could only uh, upload like three minutes, two minutes of a YouTube video on dial up. That would probably be all I could do. Maybe five minutes of a YouTube video, maybe would dial up, maybe. <laughs> but that doesn't work. This phone works fine. <laughs> Okay, I'll let you know, RG. I'll definitely make it known um, if it works. Um, and then maybe this hot box you're talking about may be the way to go. Something to check into on with Verizon. Although Mike's going, no, that's, that didn't work for me. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I just know I'm in a hard location to get internet. That's what I do know. I really thought HughesNet was going to be the ticket because it's satellite. Um, but as I'm thinking about it and talking about it here, I remember because I was out there with the guy and when he was dialing in my dish and he got a real, because you could hear the signal, beep, 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 beep. And then he slowed it down. It's kind of beep, 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 beep. But I'm telling him, wait a minute, that was a better signal. And he's going, no, this is good enough, you know, because you, your neighbors are, are about, this is what about the same, you know, value that your neighbors are getting. And he kept it at that, in that same range when he could have turned it up to where it was really bringing it in. Because you could actually hear it on his device, you know, this and uh, great signal. And that's where he should have left it. 
but I was not going to pay him to come back. There was no way. Um, so we disconnected it because my phone works, you know. I got a $100 phone bill, you know, as it is to run my phone. I'm not paying another 100 We had it. And it couldn't get an, an email. Huh? Really? So Verizon sent us the password to the email. We explained we can't get it in the email. They said, we know we sent you your new password to your email. But you couldn't access the email. That's interesting. Sounds like a, like a glitch. Something wasn't right. Something was not dialed in, you know. I, that's the way. Oh. Something just happened to your, to your message there, Mike. It just this it just like it was erased. Message rejected. That's weird. Why would they reject that message? I saw part of it, but uh, if they're if they're why am I having a hard time seeing this all of a sudden? If they're if their texts are still the same way, good luck. Yeah, no clue. Um, at this point, right now, as it stands until tomorrow, tomorrow proofs in the pudding. Well, it's time for me to go. Well, thank you for hanging out, for visiting uh, RG. Appreciate your time, bro. Um, Really to go back home and see the open skies. I know that's right. We had to pick up some some barrels, berries for our rain. Why am I having a hard time seeing this screen? Here we go. Pick up some of the barrels for our rain. Catchment right system and others items. Okay, so you've got like a little homemade cistern going on Good very good. I hear Here in California supposedly they've got a law against catching rain really What I, you know talk about violating our rights God-given rights. I mean you, it depends a lot. You won't, they don't want you catching the rain What's really going on? <laughs> if that's true, I haven't verified it. That's hearsay at this point. It's just hearsay at this point to me anyway. I don't know the facts about it. So, yeah, good for you. Um, cisterns are, are great from what I understand, and it makes sense to me that why they would be. Get a little pump in there, you know, and you can pump it out to your trees or wherever you need it, and it's a win-win-win. RG, thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, maybe you can take a picture or a short video of that lamp you made that you, I think you said your daughter has from 30 years ago out of a cactus. Are you talking, and real quick, are you talking about the Choya cactus, the one with the hole in the center with all the, with all the holes going through it? Um, I have one that somebody made a little wall lamp out of, uh, but it's all tore apart. You just see the remnants of it. I need to redo it. I um, haven't done that yet. Uh, RG says, thanks, Mike. And you have a great tomorrow. And you too, RG. God bless, bro. Be safe. Have fun. Have a good night. God bless. Well, Mike, I'm glad you're here. I wish uh, God's convict would have stuck around because um, 
I don't know if you were in the live stream that night. He was talking about his sister was getting ready to go in for surgery. And she had, and he had told me prior to this that she hadn't walked. She's like 30 some years old and she's never walked Do that. I don't remember what he said, leukemia or something. I forget the disease or, or the, in, you know, the, the disability. Yeah. And last time he was on my channel and he was saying she was going to go in for surgery and he was very concerned the surgery was going to fail. He just, he had no faith in this surgery. And he was really worried, very concerned. And we prayed. And he was still feeling kind of uncertain a little bit. And I'm going, God's going to move. God's going to move. In his timing, in his way, he's going to move. And we prayed. And uh, so for him to share that testimony how God has used this surgery and she's walking and pain free. You know, Mike, how, what, what a huge blessing that is. You know, you can definitely identify. Um, oh, and on that note, you know, I forgot, completely forgot that your testimony is on my, we are creators community channel here on YouTube on my other channel. Um, the only videos I have on that channel is one is your testimony and uh, Mackenzie. Um, she kind of, she, she really was the, started this I Am A Creator community. And, and her channel name is um, Unmedicated and Dysfunctional. And she started the I Am A Creator community, had no clue that it took off. Um, somehow she learned about um, James, uh, James somebody that was doing the I Am A Creator community. And he brought her on as his guest. And uh, he was going, you know, you can copy this. You can, you know, whatever. It's, it's, there's no, feel free to. Anyway, so I made a copy of it and posted it on that channel. We are create hashtag we are creators community and uh, told him, Hey, this is what I did. And he's like, All right, just make sure you put my name in there and where it came from, and blah blah blah. And so I did. And, anyways, that's the only other video there is Mackenzie giving her testimony, her story on how the I am a creator community got started. So it's just you and her are the only two videos on there, and uh. That's a channel I want to use down the road as I learn more about YouTube and how YouTube is working and functioning and uh, help other channels grow and to have, have help people develop a better channel and uh, become better creators. And that's the whole purpose of that. So that's basically on standby at the moment. Um, now, did I tell you, I think I told you, Thursday, I'm going to be going live um, with uh, Insane or Saint Otto. He has another channel called Insane Friends. And in that Insane Friends community, um, people are going live. And it's through him. And then you're getting his support and the support of people that are there. And um, so I'll be going live Thursday at 7.30. 7.30. I spoke with him the other day, and he was saying there's a, another channel that's live, um, and, and they end at 7.30, so for me to start at 7.30 would work. So I'll be starting at 7.30 on Thursday and going till 9.30. And so where he's at, that's like 9.30 to 12 o'clock his time. My time, your time, I believe, is, yeah, I believe you're on the same time um, as we are, I'm sorry. My time, your time is 7.30 to 9.30. His time is like from 9.30 to 12. 
uh, if I remember right, something like that. But it'll be a two-hour show. I'll have I'll have up to two hours to go live on that broadcast. Um, and I'm thinking about doing a video of my '69 Mustang. It's a coupe. It's a total, complete fixer-upper. I mean, the seats need to reupholster. The dash is. Uh, been sanded down and, and paints off of it. I mean, it is a gut car. I mean, a total fixer upper. Um, but it's for sale. I mean, somebody wants to buy it, come pick it up, you know. Uh, it's got a straight six in it. So for the person that wants the gas mileage, there's a straight six. Or if somebody wants to put a big old 302 boss, you know, and turn it into a little. <laughs> drag car they can do whatever they want with it take it in whatever direction they want to take it in and uh but it's a total stripped down fixer upper i mean from the bottom up car the motor runs although it's not running uh, you need a gas can and a pump to get it going for it to start something's going on with the carburetor um but it'll run. It just isn't running at the moment, but it runs. It parked running. When I parked it, it ran. But I think it'd be good to show. I said all that to say for my Thursday night, um, at least for my initial broadcast, you know, come in with this with the '69 Mustang, because because you know Victor, uh, saying Otto, he. Victor, I was talking about Victor's channel back when I first met you. I was saying how he had this great car show and he had this top notch videos. And, you know, join, go check him out. And I really promoted his channel quite a bit. And because he had like only 500 people, subscribers. And I'm going, this guy ought to have 5,000 subscribers. This guy should have. A, a very nice channel. He's, he's got some top-notch videos here of these shark of these car shows. Back in, back then, when I first met you, or right before I met you, anyways, and he's taken off. You know, he got involved with the I am a creator community, and uh, later I started learning about the I am a creator community. Today, it's not what it was. Today, it's not the same as it used to be. Um, you know, I've dropped in there a few times, but, uh, anyways, you know, um, Victor's doing good. So as an end result, I'm going to be a part of that. You could even be a part of that. You just need to go into it. There's some time slots available. Um, and he has some requirements for it. Um, and most time slots are for an hour. But if you, that'd be a good way to get your channel to grow. Um, if you're ready for that. So that's where that starts. And that's what motivated me, you know. Um, but it's Sa Insane Friends is the name. It's hashtag Insane Friends. Um, yeah, so he has a few slots open for that. But you've got to be ready, you know. As much as you can be anyway so I thought I'd share that info with you um, what can I say um, I guess I should probably end this live stream um, if you want to give me a holler or I can give you a holler uh, maybe I'll give you a holler um, but I got to get this, once this video downloads, it'll probably take about 20 minutes or so for this video to download. Maybe less. I'm guessing about 20 minutes. Anyway, so if you like, I'll give you a holler and, uh, you know, we could chit chat. All right. So I'm going to end this live stream. Thank you, everyone. If you are surfing through this video and you're now at the end of it. Okay, Mike.
And you're at this point. I just want you to know I appreciate you taking the time to be here, the time you've spent on this live stream. Uh, for those that come in after the live stream, I thank you. You know, even if you're surfing through this video and you've ended here at the end of it, I thank you for the time you've spent for dropping in. It means a lot. It really does. United we stand. United we're making this happen. And uh, showing one another support helps us get there. You know, and if you really like a video or you like a certain part of it, don't let it play to the end. Play it back to that point and watch it again. You know, if you didn't quite get all the information, play it back and listen to it again. You know, so you really make sure you get hear what you need to hear and see what you need to see. You can wrap your head around it that much better. And, uh, you know, then that helps that other channel as well. The channel you're doing that on, it helps them out. And others should do that on yours. Um, you know, there's sections they missed or section they didn't they need to wrap their head around or think about or see it again, you know, and just play it back, let it play. So I'm just throwing that out there. Catch. Um, so bye for now. Keep looking up. Never give up because there's always a way. And I look forward to hearing from you and getting to know you and your channel. Bye for now. Bye. As Mike says, don't be a stranger. Bye. That's Mike Ranger. 92308. Mike Har Ranger. 92308. Says... Don't be a stranger to the ranger. Mike Har, H-A-R-R, 92308. Don't be a stranger to the ranger. That's Mike Har, H-A-R-R, 92308. Check him out. Bye for now. God bless. Keep looking up. Bye.